What's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Welcome back. Welcome back. If this is your first time joining, I welcome you with love and light. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification button for when I'm coming with the latest. You guys will be prompt, all right? So we're just going to do a general reading. Don't forget, this energy could be past, present, or future. If you are seeking a personal reading, all that information will be in the description box below. All right, let's get this reading popping, baby. Mm. All right, we got a two-two on the board here, but let's shuffle it out. Ah, I feel like there is a deep knowing, a deep subconscious knowing of a. a there's a spiritual connection here. Let me just turn this a little bit down. There's a deep subconscious knowing here about a situation that you want to take action on. Look at that. Eight. Spirit is like, go ahead, honey. Pull the door. Yeah, take the floor. Go ahead. Take that leap of faith. Okay? Because what you put out there, what you manifest, is going to come right back to you. So have no fear and allow your intuition to guide you. There go that too. You feel me? Do whatever makes you feel complete, my collective. This is what this is saying to me. Do whatever makes you feel complete. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, also picking up here with this eight. Um, this eight is feeling confident. This eight is all about your mastery. And that mastery is what's guiding you. Your spiritual gift, your spiritual knowing here. Because this too for me is like the high priestess energy. Um... This eight for me is like that Leo energy. It's like that Jupiter energy, the expansion and growth and mastering your skills. Go ahead. Repeating, but you know, after a while of repeating these cycles, um, you tend to learn. You learn. You master yourself. So you now know what how to manifest your power. You know how to use your manifestation power. Gift. Thank you, Spirit. That's what that is going on right here. So we got that eight, we got that reverse, and we got that two. Okay? You feeling absolutely complete within yourself. You feeling like you can accomplish anything you want in your life right here. Feeling abundant. Feeling grounded. Feeling courageous. Feeling very powerful. You know, got that strength. Got that ambition, baby. <laughs> got that ambition. But it took, it took patience. Definitely took patience. Patience, perseverance. You got it? Okay. Per patience and perseverance. That's what it brought. Right? Oh, don't blow that. That's good. <clears throat> With this seven, this seven is also of, of, of determined, driven. You know what I'm saying? Um, overcoming any type of Anything that you feel defeated you in the past, my collective, you're no longer feeling defeated. You know what I'm saying? You're bringing forth your wish fulfillment. And these wish fulfillments is bringing so many opportunities towards you now, my collective. It's like I said, you just feel so complete. You ended that cycle of being stagnant, feeling confused, feeling those those dealing with those illusions, right? Because maybe, maybe there were some people in your way that was... Throwing too many, there was maybe too many options, too many things in your way that you couldn't choose, right? But you have to go with your guidance. You have to go with your intuition because there's so many different things thrown at you. But see, I'm hearing not all that glitter is gold, right? Not all that glitter is gold. So you have to go within and really use your discernment. See this nine right here? Yeah, you have to use your discernment. Whatever feels right to you, you go with your gut instincts, right? All right, let's see what's popping, my collective. Let's see what's popping. Let's see. I am so over these fruit flies. I, you know what I'm saying? It's been, yo. All right. Didn't I tell you with that seven, that chariot energy? You're so determined. You're, you're feeling grounded. <clears throat> you feel like you got things under control now. Things are in balance in your life, my collective. You learn so much about your gift. You learn the power of manifestation. That's what I'm saying. You found your power. You found your strength. Now that you found that strength, honey, <clears throat> it's like... <clears throat> 
the power of your gift of your manifestations is like whatever you putting out there whatever seeds you're planting whatever actions you're taking it is bringing back abundance it's bringing in this abundance for sure right yeah definitely bringing in this abundance that's that chariot energy feel me yeah all right some of y'all got the foresight here some of y'all are very intuitive and that's a part of your spiritual gift <clears throat> Some of y'all probably didn't know how to control it. There go the Ace of Swords. Spurs says that's the truth. You got mental clarity now. There's no more confusions, no more illusions, right? You know how to manifest and bring forth your change. Some of y'all have gone through a spiritual ascension here, awakening. Okay, my collective? Yeah. Definitely went through a spiritual awakening here. Okay. But see... In order for you to get to this mastery, you have to go through the dark night of the soul. Okay? That dark night of the soul. Being in that dark night of the soul, though, allowed you to assess. Allowed you to learn to gain patience. Allowed you to be, to take uh, control of the things that you can take control of and the things that you can't take control of, you let it go. You walked by faith, not by sight. You feel me? You allowed your intuition to guide you. All right? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's clarify this eight. You know what I'm also picking up here in my collective? I'm trying to avoid the energy, but I'm going to have to call it how I say it. Somebody here was trying to do some type of dark magic on you here. Mm-hmm. But to see, the moment they sent it your way, huh? The moment they sent it your way, boom. Boomerang effect. It went right back on them. Now it kind of, it got them in this two of swords energy. Because they didn't know that you was protected. They didn't know that your angels, whoever this ancestor is, whoever this loved one, this this Taurus, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or um, this Cancer, or this Sag, or this Virgo is in the spiritual realm for you, this feminine energy or this masculine energy, whoever this is, they're, you're heavily protected. You're guided. Okay? No harm could come your way. So if they are sending any type of spell work um, towards you, as soon as they send it back, it reverse onto the center, onto the sender. OK, because you are you are spiritually protected here, fully, fully spiritually protected. OK, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I feel like whoever this person is that's passed on, who's transitioned because you see this 10 here, whoever this person who transitioned um, they send you messages. You receive messages through dreams. I don't know if you dreamt, you're dreaming of this person that passed on, but this person that passed on, um, they protect you. Yeah. They protect you. You got a, you got a spiritual guide here. That's protecting you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody here that's very toxic. Somebody here that's doing some shadow work on you. Okay. For some of y'all, you had to go through the dark night of the soul. Like I said, you had to do that shadow work. All right. Um, let go of the addictions. OK, whatever was trying to keep you stuck, keep you bound. You are now free from them. Chains and bondages is what I'm hearing. OK, yes. Yeah, Spirit says that's the truth. You got the mental clarity. Somebody was trying to fuck with your money, trying to keep you stuck. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck, my collective. Somebody was trying to keep you from being consistent when it comes to your money flow, when it comes to your stability. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck. You feel me? But whatever mastery they've done, my collective, it has been reversed on them. And spirit. we see when I say it was been reversed, spirit says that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Now they stuck. Now they stuck. Now they're feeling the dark night of the soul. Whatever they were doing in the dark and secret, like this high priestess energy, yeah, because they were sneaky. Whatever they were manifesting, that Pisces energy as well. Illusions, right? Whatever illusions they were creating, they didn't understand that you were protected, okay? Somebody thought they was going to keep getting away with the Seven of Swords energy, huh? Somebody thought they can betray you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm done. For some of y'all, it's just you going through that dark night of the soul. I don't know who this is. Could be dealing with a Pisces here. But this person here is now feeling bound. They're starting to see shadows in the middle of the night. This person is seeing illusions here. They're going through these illusions. That's that Seven of Cups energy, what I'm picking up here. Right? Mm-hmm. Here it is. They see that Four of Cups. This person wanted you to be miserable. They wanted you to feel unfulfilled. This person wanted you to stay in lack. Okay? Yeah. You see that cup coming through the mirror? 
is an illusion. But see, you got the mental clarity now, honey. I feel like some of y'all already spirit showed you who this person was in your dreams. All right. I don't know whatever this is, but they're, they're dealing with some type of nightmares right now. And they're getting their judgment for fucking with you. Because it's like with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like what goes around comes around. Okay. Somebody was trying to block your destiny, my collective. Somebody was trying to block your destiny. But with that Knight of Pentacles and the judgment here now, this person is stuck with whatever they were trying to manifest over your life. Okay? Yeah, they definitely was doing mastery with that Page of Pentacles. Somebody who's very childish, very immature. Uh, somebody who just... I feel like this person was just jealous of you. Definitely envious of you. But whatever they've done, honey... It has been sent back. Return to return to sender. Yeah, they've been exposed with the sun card here. This person was doing, yeah, whatever they were doing in the dark, working against you with this eight of pentacles. This is somebody that was, they're going to eight. Okay. Whatever they were doing in the dark, honey, with that moon card, devil card here, it has been reversed. Whatever mastery they was doing to stop your abundance, <clears throat> to stop your growth. Some of them was in a spiritual warfare with you. This person didn't want you to, uh... This person was jealous of your spiritual gift is what I'm hearing. Very envious of your spiritual gift. If you're very intuitive, this person was trying to block your intuition. And the eight also represents strength. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you guys, like I said, you overcame that dark night of the soul. Whatever was, whatever had you bound, whatever had, whatever addictions you had, you got over that. Okay, slowly but surely you realize that it wasn't fulfilling you anymore with that four of cups. You felt miserable in your life. You feel me? And so with that judgment card here, I feel like you realize, you know what? I'm going to go through this rebirth. That judgment also represents a rebirth, inner calling. That's your intuition, right? And so because of that, you decide to find, take action which are in your life with the seven, which is the chariot in numerology, cancer energy. Uh, you started nurturing yourself. You started loving on yourself. Uh, you started realizing that, you know, you found your, you got the willpower and the strength to overcome any demonic energy that was trying to, any dark forces that was coming against you, uh, whether it was in your own mind, with your own addictions, or people trying to use dark magic on you, my collective, or speaking or wishing ill intent on your life, you know how to overcome it, because why? With this uh, Ace of Swords energy, and this mastery, you took the time to learn who you are. Didn't I just say that? You have to be patient with yourself, my collective, with that seven. and brought justice to your life. Balance. All right? And so you had the willpower and the strength to overcome anything that came your way. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Because some of y'all was like in the two of swords energy too. And the indecisive energy in fear. But those fears are people projecting their fears onto you. All right? So once you put that work in, honey. Hmm? Once you decide to put that work in. It's like with the Wheel of Fortune here. Look at that. With the Seven of Swords here in my collective. Whoever this is, it turned on them. The wheels have turned. The wheels have turned. They're getting their karma. They absolutely are getting their judgment for fucking with you. They didn't understand that you are very powerful. Somebody was trying to stop your bread. Yeah, they were. They was trying to stop you from bossing up. But like I said, you have the strength, the willpower. And also, they didn't understand the ancestor. There's an ancestor here around you that was watching from the heavens here. Huh? When they was trying to cast judgment over your life, they didn't even realize they was putting out their own judgment for themselves. Because it's like what goes around comes around. What you put out there is what you get back. You feel me? Somebody was jealous of your... your um. This could have been somebody at your job too, my collective. Somebody you work with. You feel me? Okay? Somebody you work with here. Somebody they want you to have this boss role leadership, this leadership in this position. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, maybe you were stepping up in your position in your job. Some of you guys are starting your own business. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they didn't like this. They didn't like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They was definitely gathering information on you, watching you, stalking you, gossiping on your name. Like I said, that spell work could be the power of the tongue. You feel me? But guess what? They didn't realize they was fucking with an earth angel, a real divine chosen one. With this temperance and this and this uh, this this high priest high priestess energy, they didn't understand that you were chosen. This is your job. You're here to do the work for the Most High. Okay, you're here to do the work of the Most High. So whatever wanted to keep you bound, keep you in the dark night of the soul, and keep you stuck there or trying to cast spells and illusions over your life, guess what? I said this in my last reading. I said, we're the toughest. And we get the toughest battles. Why? Because that's that's just the journey when you're chosen. You're an earth angel. And believe me, 
those battles help you to come to realize your to, to help you to realize who you are with this term with this um with this high priestess energy now i'm gonna tell y'all the truth here go the ace of wands at the back right here brand new opportunities for you honey there was somebody here that was paying this high priestess to fuck with a temperance with an earth angel. Let me tell you what's going on, though. Hmm? This person was definitely riding out. I don't know if they went a distance. Because you see that seven. That seven represents like a vehicle, charity, moving, right? Seven of swords. Somebody was traveling at a distance. Either they was paying somebody out of the country into, uh, or, or in another state. But this person was paying somebody to do the work on you. Somebody was paying somebody to do juju on you, my collective. You hear me? 10.01 on the clock as I say so. Somebody was trying to manifest, um, stop your abundance, stop your sudden wealth. Because they know what you were destined to be. They knew where you were destined to be. Okay? You were destined for greatness. And you still are. So whatever they were doing in the dark, sneaking, they wasn't going to get away. They was being watched by the most high. They didn't even realize they was getting their judgment because whatever they put out is what they get back. That's the that's the scales being balanced. All right. Here go that temperance energy again. They fucking with an earth angel. You feel me? They didn't understand. They didn't understand the, the ancestors that you have around you. You're highly protected, my collective. Who they playing with? <laughs> and you're going to hear about this person. Okay. Whatever they were doing in the dark with this mastery, this spell work. This is how they feeling now with this four of cups, huh? They wanted you to miss your opportunity. Hmm. These priests, people is creating illusions over your life. But guess what? Now they're going to have to sit right here because they're being exposed with this sun card. Because whatever they was doing in the shadow work right here in this dark, creating these illusions, causing spells over your life, huh? The truth has come out. They're being exposed. Here it is. Whatever they was doing in the dark with this mastery, you're going to hear about this person. Now they're going to be the one missing their opportunities in life because that's what they wanted for you. That's what they wanted for you, my collective. Oh, they made a sad mistake when they messed with you. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Now they're feeling miserable because they wanted you to miss every opportunity that was that was destined for you with that four cups. They wanted you to miss every opportunity. Yeah, but with this page of pentacles energy, that's that bullshit, bullshit magic. Trust me. It's like if they went to this high priestess who they was paying to do this work, this person will have the sacred knowledge. If they was paying this person to work on you, huh? And then told them, you know, like to go home and this is what you do when you go home. I want you to do this, do that, buy this, buy that, all that. Yeah, okay. These pers this person was conjuring up demons. Demons that they can't even put to rest. Demons that are now bound to them. Demons that they fear at night because they can't sleep. They can't sleep. Because that's what they, that's what they summons. When they was putting in the work to come against you with this eight of pentacles right here. Huh? Huh? This could be somebody at your job, my collective. But whoever they was paying to come against you, them and that high priestess is feeling it. They're getting their judgment. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They didn't understand that you have some powerful ancestors around you. I told you I picked up on a divine feminine energy here. Could be a masculine too, but this person is watching over you. You hear me? They're watching over you because I pick up two um, um, high priest, high priestess energy here. Okay? Yeah, they didn't understand the power that you have around you. But they, this person was trying to block your manifestations. Yes, they were. They was trying to block your opportunities. All right. Mm. They was trying to block your humble beginnings. That's what they were trying to do. <laughs> they sorry now. They sorry now. Let me get what's the scoop here. Let me get what's the scoop. Because they definitely was trying to pull stunts over your life. They definitely was. But like I said, some of y'all, it's not everyone who was doing this to you. Some of y'all was just going through some a dark night of the soul, a very dark place in your life. Uh, some of y'all was going through the dark night of the soul. You didn't understand it. You feared it. You feared it. Uh, but there was no fear because you were being protected. Okay, my collective? Some of y'all, was the seven is like a seven of cups energy for me, like illusions here. You've gained control over, those, over that energy now. You know how to control it, right? Yeah. You know how to control it now. Some of y'all have probably seen dead people. Some of y'all are here to help people to cross over and see the light with the sun card here. Okay? So they came to you seeking help, my collective. Okay? So if it keeps you up at night, maybe you are afraid. Okay? But there's no, no need to fear, my collective. No need to fear. Some of y'all have seen dead people, but this is your gift. 
And I feel like some of y'all been seeing this since y'all was a child. Because this is what you're born to do, the work of the Most High. Okay? I know some of y'all like, why though? I don't want this gift. I don't want to see dead people. <laughs> but see, Spirit says that's your life's purpose. There it is. There it is. It's your fate. It's what you're destined to do. Okay? For some of them, um, it's going to shock you. With the seven of with the set with the shocking card here, with it says right here, the information or the situation may leave you shook. You're gonna be surprised to know, okay, um, who this person is right here. This person is gonna be exposed to you very soon. This miserable, this poor, unfortunate soul right here, this miserable one right here, this one right here. Hmm. Yeah. They they it's gonna it's gonna leave them shook because they've done a lot of shit to try to stop your block your life's purpose. Huh? But with the wheel of fortune, it's like what goes around comes around. It's coming to a turning point with now this person's actions is catching up to them. All right? Yeah. And they're going to be shook. Look at this person's face. Because they've done a lot. They have done a lot to try to stop you. Okay? Yes, they have. But they can't stop your life's purpose, boo. They can't stop your life's purpose. You're here to do the work for the most high. That phase is ending soon. There it is. I told you this is what they've been doing. Moon magic. They've been going to the grave sites, all right, working with the dead. Yeah, some of them here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But this phase is ending soon. This phase is ending soon. Why? Because your life is about to have an upgrade. They can't stop what's destined for you. They can't stop your fate. They can't stop your fortune. They can't stop your destiny. Your life is about to have an upgrade, my collective, okay? These new opportunities is coming. This is a copycat that was hating on you. Okay, for some of y'all, it's a toxic-ass family member or somebody you have a family with, all right? Yeah, this copycat who's obsessed. I knew I seen it when I seen this 10. When I seen this 10, I was picking up on the um, Capricorn energy, devil energy with this. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you. Look at this. Y'all, could this could be a Capricorn or you are the Capricorn, my collective. Look at this. Huh? This is somebody who you probably have a child with, okay? Who doesn't want to take care of their responsibilities, okay? But see, they don't understand when they fuck with your life purpose, they fuck with your generational life's purpose too. Because what you're here to build for your generations, for your children, for your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and so on and so forth to pass on, this person was trying to cast a curse over your bloodline. Okay? That's what they were doing. They were trying to fuck you over and your children and your children. Your whole entire bloodline they were trying to fuck over. Well, guess what? Whatever they were doing, now they're bound. Now they're bound. It's bound to them. They're obsessed with you. Ooh, what's this? And see, what's meant to be is meant to be. What's meant to be? It says this relationship is magical and meant to be. So there could be a divine masculine, divine feminine here who's destined to be. Here it is. A high priest and high priestess here. Okay? A divine masculine, divine feminine. So this person is launching forward towards you. Okay, my collective? There's somebody coming in. Somebody finally overcame the powers and broke the chain here. Somebody broke the chain, yeah, because I see mirroring effect, experiencing similar energies here, okay? Yeah, somebody's wishing ill intent, but whoever they was trying to keep bound or keep bound, you're seeing through the fog. That's the Ace of Swords right here. Or this is your person that's seen through the fog, my collective. Take it how it resonates. See that? That Ace of Swords right here is you're getting clear. Your, um, your visions is getting clear with that Ace of Swords, okay? This copycat, this copycat, was trying to be you. <laughs> Look at them. They was trying to tap into you. And I see astro travel here. Spirit was showing you. This person would try to astro travel into your energy, energy field. I feel like some of y'all spirit was showing you uh, what was going on. For some of y'all, this is a past life energy. So this karmic, this copycat is coming from your past life. Okay, now. This person traveled from the past life. Chariot energy. They travel from the past life with you into this lifetime, my collective. Y'all know who this is. All right? Yeah, they have you and your person. They travel, yeah. I keep seeing uh, romantic thoughts. For some of them here that was trying to terminate you, get you fired from your position here. Yeah, because they was jealous of you getting this King of Pentacles energy. Okay? Somebody was jealous of you getting this boss energy or you just bossing up and owning your own business or running your own company. All right? All right now. All right now. 
So if they was at work trying to spread rumors on you, telling lies on you that you were stealing money from the job or you were stealing from the job, they try to do everything um, to get you fired. But look how the tables have turned. They got fired. They're going to fire. They got fired. Okay. Yeah. They were spreading rumors on you. There go the rumors right here. That's the page of swords right here. They were sp spreading malicious, malicious lies. Didn't I tell you this person was wishing ill intent on you? Well, guess what? Guess what? The tables have turned. The tables have turned here. They're going to attend. Everything is transforming. Things are changing in your life. And here it is. Something has come to a complete end. That's that 10. Complete end. Because what they put out is what they get back. Reverse. Whatever actions. Whatever they were manifesting. Okay? It has returned onto sender. Okay? For some of y'all, this is a destined partnership. What's faded? You and this divine masculine, divine feminine here. High priest, high priestess. Look at this. Both of y'all are destined to be. Okay? Yeah. All right? Now, this is what's meant to be between this relationship. All right? For some of y'all, I told you there was an addiction. Some of y'all was facing addictions here. Whatever was trying to keep you bound, my collective. All right? Yeah. Mm. You found the strength. And the willpower to overcome it. Okay? You you found the strength and the willpower to overcome it. You conquered those demons. Yes, you did. With that devil card here and those addictions. Those addictions could be anything. The demon could be anything that was trying to attack you. But that's what happens when you have a calling over your life. When you are chosen. When you are an earth angel. When you are here to manifest the work of the most high. Okay, that's what spirit. That's what it. That's what happens when you get cho when you're chosen. You feel me? You are here to inspire the nation. I'm telling you, this is bigger than yourself, my collective. You are here to help others heal because you're a earth angel. You're a walking angel. A lot of people might see you looking dusty. A lot of people probably judged you because of the demons that was attacking your life. The enemy was trying to come for y'all. Okay. The enemy was trying to come for y'all. I'm telling you, the enemy did have a grip on you for a long time. Whether it was these addictions, popping pills, drugs, alcohol, whatever it was, the demon had a hold on your life because you're here to do the most. You're here to manifest. You're a powerful manifestator. You're here to bring light to the world because some of y'all are light workers here. You're here to inspire people. All right. You're a light worker here with the sun card. Okay. But you have risen from the darkness. You've arisen, you have risen from the illusions. You've risen from the fears and the illusions and the confusions. No more fear. No more darkness. Okay? For some of y'all, is somebody here that was trying to put spells on your life, wishing ill intent on you. Yes. Somebody who's obsessed with you. Okay? You could have had a family with this person. Or this could be your own toxic-ass family members. Okay? It says toxic family. The family dy dynamic may be toxic. So you broke them generational curses something has completely come to an end so those past family fourth um and like i told you there was somebody here that passed away you have a loved one here watching over you from from the heavens somebody's here heavily being protected okay you definitely are you're being protected with that with that temperance energy here okay um uh, but like i said you guys are earth angels you're here to bring light and inspire others in this world okay my collective and so for doing so it's, it's your destiny. They cannot stop your life's purpose. And that's the truth, Spirit says. Spirit says that's the truth. Your life is about to have an upgrade. They was trying to keep you stagnant. They was trying to keep you stuck. They was trying to slow you down with that, <clears throat> excuse me, with that Knight of Pentacles energy. Huh? They didn't understand that you kept it pushing, though. You, you had the courage. You kept it pushing. You were patient. All right. And you allowed your prayers and your spirit guides to guide you. So they couldn't stop what was destined to be. Like I said, that enemy could be anything. That enemy could be anything. Okay. Woo. Wow. My collective. This is a lot. This is a lot. What else is here, spirit? What else is here? Oh, what was that? I flew out. Some of y'all are supposed to be entertainers. Okay. Some of y'all are supposed to be in the entertainment industry here. Y'all are great singers, but then I tell you a situation need more balance. There it is with that seven, honey. Things are being balanced. Justice is being served. All right. Yeah. It says the secrets are being revealed. Didn't I tell you with the sun, with the moon to the sun, some, somebody's going to about to be exposed. Somebody's getting exposed. They're going to be disgraced and embarrassed. All right. Yeah. Cause they were always fake 
and doing that black magic. I can't believe, and someone, and telling lies on you. So if some of y'all here, to, like I said, some of y'all are prophets. All right. I told you in the beginning, somebody was trying to block your spiritual gift. All right. And they was using this black magic. They was trying to tell, and for some of y'all, they was trying to say that y'all was fake. Whatever you were manifesting, they were saying that you were fake, but no, you get those messages. You receive those messages. Because you're a high priest, high priestess. You're a divine masculine, divine feminine here. All right? Yeah. You get your messages from above. Your intuitive gift is on fire. It's lit. You feel me, Nessa? Real talk. But this person was hating on your spiritual gift. All right? With all this black magic, fake, the grass is fake. Talking about you fake and all that and bullshit. Someone was lying. All this that they was doing to manifest over your life with using this black magic has backfired. All the lies, all the deception, everything that they was doing, stabbing you in your back. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. Are you the, are you are the Aquarius or the um, Pisces? I do see Capricorn out here. I do see Leo out here. I do see Sag out here. Um, I do see um, Gemini out here. Yeah, I do. I do. What else I have out here? Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo out here? Yeah. This copycat right here. I don't know who the hell this copycat is to y'all, my collective. But it's either a family, somebody from a family, toxic family member, or somebody you was working with. Somebody from your job. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever they was doing, this is petty. This is the but this is the mastery they was doing. This is it right here. I was telling you. Whatever they were manifesting over your life. Where's that number eight? This person was trying to block your life's purpose. Block what's destined for you. Okay? Some of y'all are celebrities here. Y'all supposed to be in the, in the limelight. Stars. Okay? But there you go, baby. You're shining, baby. Continue to shine. Because this person is being exposed to all this black magic. This copycat right here. This one. This hating ass one right here. This one. This one right here. Trying to be you. All right? All right, that's what I have for you, my soul subscribers. If you enjoyed this read, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything that it was doing in the dark, they was paying somebody to stop your destiny. They was paying. And instead of them finding their own mastery, instead of them learning something about their own self, this person, they would find out everything that you were doing. They was going to find out what was ahead, uh, what was ahead of you. This person knew you were destined, knew you're destined for greatness. Meant to be. Now, for some of y'all, is somebody trying to fuck with you and your divine masculine or your, you and your divine feminine here. But that's over with. Things are changing. Transformation is going on here, okay? For some of y'all, it's addictions. The devil tried to have a hold on your life with those addictions. Pill popping, you know, drugs, had you on the streets, homeless. You know what I mean? But whatever it is, honey, I hear somebody's a great singer here. You're a great singer. Beautiful voice. Your voice is very harmonious. All right? But don't give up on your dreams. Never too late. They lost their job, everything. Some of y'all did lose y'all jobs to these addictions. You feel me? But it's never too late. You know, this, this is the demon right here for some of y'all. For some, it's a, who was doing that black magic. All right, but your life is about to have an upgrade, my collective. Because what's destined to be is destined to be. Yeah. I wish you guys love and light. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.